Behind me is one of the weirdest water birds in the entire world. That guy is an Anhinga, a diving species that hunts exclusively underwater. There's just one problem. Anhingas don't have waterproof feathers, so when they leave the water, they actually can't fly. Now to make sense of why these birds have such a bizarre lifestyle, we need to watch an Anhinga hunt in action. After weeks of drought, this wetland pond has shrunk into a small, shallow pool, and it is absolutely loaded with fish, the kind of habitat Anhingas are purpose-built for. This female stalks slowly, scanning for any fish that are in range, her neck constantly poised in an S position, like a snake ready to strike. The Anhinga is a fish hunting specialist, but it does things very differently than typical water birds. Instead of trapping air in her feathers to let her float, the Anhinga's wettable plumage and denser bones make her body sink as soon as she starts swimming, with only her long neck sticking out from the surface. This strange appearance has earned Anhingas the nickname the snake bird, but it's when they're hunting that this comparison really shines. You might think that a water bird without waterproof feathers would be at a huge disadvantage when it comes to catching fish, but this strange feature lets them do something that almost no other bird can. They can set up an ambush underwater. Normally, fish hunting birds are active predators that rely on speed and powerful legs or wings to chase down prey, which also helps to fight the buoyancy of their waterproof feathers. It's highly effective, but they have to keep moving to stay submerged, and most can't dive for long. The Anhinga is the opposite. She can't move fast, but her waterlogged feathers paired with her large fan-like tail and adjustable internal air sacs give her almost perfect neutral buoyancy. She doesn't sink or float. This means she can move through the water at any depth with ease, and can even hover in place which allows her to hide in vegetation or lurk around underwater obstacles to wait for fish to come to her. That's where the main tool of the trade comes into play, her razor-sharp, serrated beak. When a fish moves in close enough, she shoots her beak out like a spear and pierces it right through the side, powered by strong muscles and special bones that form a hinge mechanism in her neck that let her strike like a feathered water snake. She can't eat underwater, so she rises to the surface and displays her catch like a trophy, parading it all the way to the bank. The fish struggles helplessly as she tosses it in the air, catching it again in her jaws head first and swallowing it down whole. But she's still hungry, and with so many fish concentrated in this tiny area, she has no reason to stop hunting. So the snake bird slips back into the water to continue terrorizing the aquatic ecosystem below. So after the Anhinga finishes hunting, they have a bit of a problem because they still can't fly when their feathers are wet and there are lots of predators out here that would love to take an easy meal like that. So how are they solving this pretty big problem? What they actually do is pretty genius. They spread their wings out just like this individual is doing behind me and it's not random where they're sitting. They will actually sit with their bodies perpendicular to the angle of the sun to dry off as much of their body as quickly as possible. With the right light, they can dry off completely in as little as 5 to 10 minutes. And if any other bird that didn't have waterproof feathers got as wet as the Anhingas do when they're hunting, it could take them easily over an hour to be able to fly again. But sitting this way isn't just to dry off. One of the trade-offs with having wettable feathers is that they lose heat much faster because of the water coming right up against their bodies. So by sitting in the sun, they're bringing up their body temperature and getting more energy. So the Anhingas are very well evolved to deal with this issue. Filming the unique lifestyle of Anhingas has been a goal of ours for a long time, because documenting stories of success like this one is a huge part of our channel's mission to create a record of the incredible things in nature that we want to protect. That's why we life list and make videos in the first place. The natural world is now facing unprecedented threats, so we share our content as a way to hold ourselves and humanity accountable for the amazing diversity of life on Earth that we all share, and inspire others to help protect it while we still can. That starts by understanding the ways that animals survive. And when it comes to birds evolving to take advantage of water, Anhingas are just scratching the surface. If you want to see the crazy lengths that sea ducks have gone to to enable their aquatic lifestyle, check out this video. 
where we highlight five of the most extreme sea duck species in the U.S. And with that, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.